and already there's a divine and sacred peace that begins to flow in and through each individual here in this moment in this eternal now and with this profound blessing the very consciousness of our physical body the very cells become attentive and alert to this frequency of peace our sacred in-breath and out-breath automatically aligns with the perfect rhythm and as this divine grace flows in all the concerns of a physical world all of the perceptions of challenges and responsibilities of this material world just fades right now for the moment because together we choose to align with this sacred grace that pours in from the highest realms of light and this sacred peace comes from a Shambhala world it is a world of crystal an ascended world that is balanced and has brought forth and anchored in peace and this brilliant world that comes into form now is likened to selenite or a quartz crystal that has that milkyish shiny hue to it and this magnificence of this crystal city it glows this luminosity of this iridescent white and so this city of this ascended realm has a very specific coding to it these codes bring forth a perfect balance and an anchored peace And as this city of light unfolds, there is some beautiful spiraling buildings of sort, but also too, towards the ground of very large circular, circular buildings. And there is a particular building that has a function where many, many people come together as a group with intentioned purpose. And so we keep this in mind as we continue to breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath with each and every holy sacred in-breath and out-breath we now breathe this illuminosity this divine energetic code from this crystalline city of light in the ascended realms of light what flows in and this city that now becomes more anchored in the midst of us we are tethered to it as it continues to anchor within us 
And what we see going on here is an invitation to each and every one. And we simply breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath as we begin to feel our own energy begin to accelerate. It is very evident. Some may feel it through their nervous system. Others may feel it upon the skin, upon the hair, the palms of the hands, the soles of the feet. A shifting of energy becoming notable. And so we do acknowledge this energy that has come to us as a special blessing and grace. And we know that each and every holy in-breath and out-breath is sacred and illumined. So as we breathe this sacred, activated, illumined light within the breath, it's transformative to our own physical, mental, and emotional bodies. It brings in great light and it travels through our circulatory system as well as our nervous system and all systems of the physical body. It brings with this peace and this balance great healing. And with it, energetic upgrades. This sacred grace flows through the emotions. And as it flows through the emotions, it brings a calmness and balance to the emotional body. It clears the emotional bodies of triggers and cords and outside influences. And so we breathe this sacred in-breath and out-breath allowing this grace simply to flow through in and around us coming from this crystalline city of light in the shambhala worlds and we simply release to this unconditional love that we feel this gift, this outpouring of love and support, of caring and kindness. And it continues to flow, continues to move and integrate into the physical and emotional bodies bring in peace, health, and stability. It now moves into our mental bodies. And thoughts not coming from the higher realms, those thought forms now dissolve into the luminosity of its light. And all that can anchor in the mental body is the higher thought forms coming from the higher light, the higher realms. And we simply continue to breathe each and every holy sacred in breath and out breath as with each breath 
the luminosity of this outpouring of love and grace and blessing from this Shambhala crystal world continues to flow, to balance, to heal, and to anchor deep-seated peace. And as we observe this crystal city within our spiritual eye, as we observe it for these few moments, this beautiful luminosity, the pearlescence, and a very specific dynamic to the very air that we breathe as it continues to flow in us and around us. And there is now this invitation. And there is specifically for each and every one, a most radiant being of unconditional love that draws close to you. For me, it's coming on my left side, but for you, it may come in any position it does. Simply acknowledge and the road to this city of light opens up and we are escorted one by one, individually and collectively, to come into the city and specifically to this building, this round building where many come and gather. We find ourselves moving into this round building and also just in amazement of the beauty of everything. And we enter with our escorts. And as we do, we see a myriad of radiant ones. And there is a great convention, a convergence, not only of the residents of this great city of light, but it is also many others who come from other cities of light, from other locations, from other reality bites. And this convergence that comes together now is specific and it is purposeful. We find ourselves attentive and alert as a we are among the Amin Shaddai, the family of light. And we can see that in the middle of this place where we gather, there is one being that rises above all on a platform of crystal. The loving radiance of this being is beyond description. And in the very air that we breathe and feel and sense and know, it is love unconditional. We simply want to be in this moment forever.
And as we gather, there is a sense of a deep, long forgotten memory that begins to stir within us. And this great being looks benevolently to each and every one. And there is a promise. There is a purpose. There is a mission for all who gather. It is the time now to activate higher skills it is the time now to bring forth the dormancy that has been for so long of skills and abilities within each. And we stand here now as this great being continues to illuminate and radiate beyond description a great light of gold. And within the luminescence of this white pearlescence is this blending of this golden color that has with it specific codes, harmonics, colors and tones. We simply breathe and receive. We breathe and we receive. We breathe and we receive. And there is a telepathic message that comes forward as a we are in this great body of all radiant ones from all parts of the cosmos, from the myriad of worlds here in this moment to create this singularity of higher service and a profound blessing. With this blessing comes the higher activations and codes to stir once again the innate abilities that are within each and every one, even as they are in a physical, mental, and emotional body. With this perfect balance and anchored peace, we are able to receive this inflow of divine sacred codes and activations for our next level of service. And with that, there is the need and desire of higher perception and abilities that is innately programmed in each individual. And so there is a stirring that begins to take place within the physical, mental, emotional bodies on the lower densel and the density of the material world as we are tethered to this city of light on the Shambhala world. We simply breathe and we receive. 
We are alert, awake, and we are engaged and conscious. We choose to receive this blessing and this grace, to use it for our higher service work, our next steps. And behind this great being, we can see there are more beings like on a dais. They are higher than the rest, but not as high as this one in the middle. They are connected to karma. And as we continue to receive this, there's a telepathic message that says, as you walk your path of light, as you move forward with your mission, with your promise, karmic release is activated. And in this moment, we may make this choice as we move forward on our path in higher service, in our next steps, in the reactivation of our abilities and skills We are grateful for the release of any karma that would hold us back or distort, that we can be released of that through this grace, through this benevolence, through this unconditional love. We consciously become aware of the energy that we find ourselves enmeshed and in great communion. We acknowledge this as we continue to surrender into this profound love. boundless and limitless. We find ourselves as this luminous and white golden beings. And as we look around, it is these white golden beams that create this amazing star, a brilliance beyond description, adding to the illumination of the already brilliant city of light. We cherish each and every breath that we take in this eternal moment. We acknowledge and recognize the great blessing that has been bestowed upon us and our commitment to walk our path of light and service. Take a moment 
to really be engaged in how you are feeling the energy that moves in and through your physical, mental and emotional body, your connection to this city of light of the Shambhala world, your connection to this conclave, this meeting, this council of light and all the beings within it and all the key players your connection to it. Take note. The energy continues to move in through and around very strongly. We hold our positions within this great hall just a few more moments. We understand that this energy will continue to flow in the appropriate portion, even as we begin now to draw in our electromagnetic field, as there is much to be done into the lower worlds. And even as we draw in ours, so do others. And we look at the radiant one in the middle one more time. The loving benevolence. We glance behind this being, of the being sitting in the back. connected to karma and the release thereof. Our guide, our escort beckons it's time for us to go. And as we move out, as we begin to draw in our energies, we see that this magnificent city of light begin to fade and go back to its source. 
but we are forever connected. We prepare ourselves to come back and to be anchored in our physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Even now, as our escorts begin to draw in their electromagnetic field and begin to fade away. We become more attached within the gravitational pull of the earth and we look to reside fully in our physical, mental and emotional bodies. And on the count of three, we will intend to be back awake, alert and fully grounded even as these energies will continue to work with us into our sleep time. One. Two. Take a very deep breath in and plan to be back at three. And three. We are back. We are awake. We are alert. And we are grounded. 